Today we're making a classic cocktail, and we don't do that very much because we're common man. Why do you want to donate to common man cocktails? Because you love Welcome us. Welcome to common man cocktails. I'm your host Derek Schirmer, co-host Doug Peterson. Today, we're gonna call it this time. Yesterday was a northern cocktail, mm -hmm. North American cocktail, right. which we forgot to even say, but it's right. everywhere. No big deal. Right. Um, this is the I'm aviation North American. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get our history and all that crap. We missed everything. Um, the aviation cocktail, the, the reason I had been originally putting this off was because I thought I needed uh, creme de violette, and I haven't been able to find it yet. I need it for another cocktail. However, I found another recipe that might even precede that. These classics are hard because I can't tell which one came first. But this is maraschino liqueur, gin, lemon juice. A quarter ounce of lemon juice. I got a little, little high note over here. Um, two ounces of gin, a half ounce of maraschino liqueur. I hope I got that right here. Yeah, yeah. That uh, doesn't say maraschino liqueur anywhere, but somehow I know it is. Um, why doesn't that say maraschino liqueur, like in big writing? It does. Oh, it's over <laughs> the side. Uh, <laughs> whole maraschino. These are the fake ones. I don't have any Luxardos left. Uh, hey, sorry, my, 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 my bad. See, Luxardo, if you find the maraschinos that have Luxardo on them, they're real. I don't have any left. I gotta really go to Amazon and buy some. They're gooey. They're gooey and they're tasty. They are tasty. What are you doing? Stop it. Sorry. I don't like noise. Sorry. Right on the set. All right. What's that? Gin. Oxley gin. This is, this stuff, <laughs> all right. You don't need to use this. It's really technical. It's 50 and expensive. something dollars Very a bottle. Expensive. I saw it and I was like, I've been looking for this for three years at least. I wanted it. So we so. had it at Tales of the Cocktail. Yeah. It, now. We're gonna use this gin first, and it's it's high end gin. So what am I gonna do here? It's cold distilled, right? Yeah. Yeah, the whole oh, deal. we're gonna we're gonna shake this guy. I think doesn't say. However, it's got juice in it. So we'll start with our juice. Quarter ounce. I call this a quarter ounce. It probably is close to it. Yep. Two ounces of the gin. Where's my measuring? There's wait wait. I got one right here. Check it out. He only says one thing. Yeah, out of bounds roll out. I'm feeling like this doesn't need to be shaken. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like I, I don't want to shake it. Uh, stir it. What do you think? Live chat room. Shake or stir? Stir. Stir. It's classic. So you, a lot of these are stirred. Stir. Have you ever had maraschino liqueur? Mm -hmm, no. Smell it. It's not sweet like you no. think it should be. Mm. Yeah. Shake. Smells. Stir. 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 God damn it. Good. I'm. I'll stir it. Damn it. Also. Seriously, do I need to wait. go in with the whole a little Titanic nice. analogy? It sinks. No, if I'm on an ice cube in my martini glass, like it, like any time they touch my tongue, it's like, oh my god, there's an iceberg. Oh my god, there's the Titanic. Oh my god, so many people just died on my tongue. It's awful. He's not going to leave him there. It's okay, Doug. Oh, you think that he would. <laughs> Why, have we said this story before? Yeah. Why is it that we, you are able to say that twice? That's with part. such detail. I don't know all of it. Because that's what he thinks. Every time Every he has. Every freaking time. You have one some of those little ice issues. chips touches my tongue. It's like, oh, dead people. <laughs> okay. You might want to go see somebody about that. Oh, Whatever. Somebody special. <laughs> now, with the Oxley. This <laughs> Leonardo is swimming around on your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, I'm the king of Doug's tongue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's, That's odd. Weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, now, one of the reasons the Oxley tends to be a little expensive is it's cold distilled. So where most gins, most all but the Oxley as far as I know, they they have to heat them up to distill them. Right. Which well, you do it with vodka, like, you do it with gin, you like do it with... that's the distillation process. Right, that's just how it works. Um, however, with this, what they do is they use a vacuum distill. So they put all your macerated herbs and all that botanicals inside this grain alcohol, they throw it in the still, they suck out all the air, and it gets super cold, like minus five Celsius, whatever, and it starts to boil. So they're boiling it cold, and then the vapors go up, they grab onto what they call the cold finger, 
and it just basically drops that cold. They had a whole yeah. flow chart on it. They, yeah, they have a flow chart. You can check the internet, or you can check our Facebook.com slash cocktail TV. Somebody even linked it. And what they uh, what they basically have been able to do is salvage all of the 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 liquids without having to lose because there's waste when you distill. You have to cut at the beginning and the end and keep just the middle, so there's waste. With this right. gin, you don't get the waste, but it's more expensive because it's small batch distilled. It's a new technology. That right there is like. It costs them a lot of money to be able to make that. Yeah, R and D. Right, we're lots of R and D, like multiple, multiple years of R and D, and we're paying for it right yeah. here. But what does it taste like? It tastes like awesome. Yeah, actually, yeah. it's it's one of the cleanest gins I've ever had in my life. You know Hendrix, <laughs> Hendrix is a really, really, really good clean gin, and and this this is a lot cleaner. Oh, there you go. The drink is clear. Yes. Oh, yeah. But it's got a cherry. Um, this, I'll let you taste it. That gin, because it's so smooth, which is why my ultimate goal, you don't need to use Oxley. You can use a higher end, I don't know, what's a higher end Tangerine 10? Or something like that, or, or I don't even, I don't have that. Mm-hmm. Hendrix, um, Bombay, whatever, uh, Givine Nuezo would be nice. Green Hook, Green, uh, Jim Sinus would be good. But I'll basically use a good gin because there's really nothing else in here besides a little of that maraschino liqueur, and it's all gin. So if you don't enjoy your gin, this is stupid to make it this cocktail. Yeah. Otherwise, because you're just gonna it's gonna taste as bad as the gin is. That doesn't taste bad with that gin. What do you think of this stuff? I want your reaction. You're gonna yeah. say, no, 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 it's kind of green and weird and weedy and like. Like a grappa or something. There's something weird organic going on. Yeah, actually, yeah, straight up. Mm-hmm. All all of those. It's, it's very. I'm not. It a huge... kills the fucking gin for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was that because was where I was going. Unfortunately, like I I, you brought this out and I tried it the other night and I was like, oh my straight god, straight up good. I will use it again when we do a gin martini in I think two weeks. I started to build a calendar breakout of everything. Maybe three. I can't remember. Cool. Uh, but in my opinion, vermouth could do that same thing. Like, it could... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So... Yeah, no doubt. I think using a bad gin with this would cause a problem. Because now it's really mm. awkward. You know, it, you're, this will probably be hidden much more in a big juniper attack. Question if, of the day? Yeah. Have you ever spent $50 or more on a bottle of alcohol? Or you can do shaken or stirred. <laughs> Shaken or stirred, question one. We always have seen have two questions. Question two. What was it? Oh, yeah. Most expensive bottle? No, I think we've asked that. Have you ever spent $50 plus on a bottle of alcohol? Dude, I've done that. Well, I don't really count. Yeah. So I'm going to omit myself since I probably did that just this weekend twice. Um, yeah, between buying like good bottles of wine and Wait, scotch. we have to pre- there has to be a, a catch to this. Uh, would an English or an American gin be better for this drink? Um, probably. I not. love New Amsterdam. Yes, New Amsterdam. I think you may. This might come through more in the new, with the New Amsterdam because it's so much lighter. It's more like a sprite. Like it's just super light and easy to mm. drink, and, and lower end on the cost. Um, I I'm gonna have to go with London for this one. The London Dry. I think that's probably the right way to go. Yeah. What's um, Oxley? London. London. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, just a product of England. If you, we're, there's a catch to this. Have you ever spent $50 or more? If you're in Australia, you could do that on a simple bottle of vodka. Yeah. So you, ha- you make yeah. it reasonable to your country. Yeah. Or do the conversion. That still won't work because everything's super expensive in Australia. Hey, Doug, how tall are you? Super tall. Uh, 5'10-ish. 5'10. Yeah. Oh, here, I'll do this. There you go. Yeah. Some you streamer wanted to know. So... Last thoughts. I don't know how I feel about that question. <laughs> Not very tall. So you don't like this cocktail? Eh. You, you don't like the maraschino? Yeah. Alcohol. So the aviation is really going to be, I mean, obviously this is your only second ingredient, so they are going for that taste. How c- it, 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 it's got, I, I'm, I'm just, I just want to okay. make it, I, I just want to make it better. You like, can't make than, it better. It's an aviation cocktail. Yeah. Uh, you can add the creme de violette. But I think that that's not going to get. That's not going to make this not be there, mm. right? To make it better the way you want, it would be to remove this from the table and never use it again. This is a very unique taste that gives you that green weed, like uh, 
very natural, earthy tone to the gym with mild juniper, no real burn. Like that's the oxy because it's 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 pretty kick butt in that way. Um, but it has a very unique taste, definitely imparted from the maraschino liqueur. If you don't like the maraschino liqueur, and if you don't have it, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion. If you don't have this product available, or you think I'm gonna go out and buy it because it was used in Common Man Cocktails and it's gonna cost you a fortune, I don't really know how much it costs, depends on your country, I would suggest maybe leaning towards another drink. Because yeah. this is one of those, those spirits that you really need to taste first before you really go and spend a lot of money on it because it's very unique in flavor. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the flavor. I can tell from your reaction you're not. I don't think you are either. No. Um, but I don't really mind this cocktail, but I really like that gin. And I don't, I'm not Gin's a great. Gin, I want to like this more than I do. That's, that's all a, I'm gonna that's say. That's a fair assessment. We got our questions of the day out of the way. That's it, my friends. I'm licking the spoon. Because <laughs> spoon we're teaching, liquor. teaching. We are teaching you how to drink. Oh, too late! You're, oh, we, oh, yeah, because the 9% ABV just wasn't working out. Fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, ready? I would prefer not to. No. You know, back in the day, this is what they prescribed people for coughs? For, for, for their coughs. Do they prescribe Here, 150 degrees? Up. No, they didn't. They they weren't like, hey, All right, why don't you stop talking to me? I, 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 I interrupted him during his mid mid sip. Ah, I, yeah, you don't want to touch my sweaty nipples. Apparently, hey. I did. Ready? No. I'm waiting for him. Good. Good. Right. Fine. Here we go. Fine.